From the point of knowing that I was high risk simply by being minority, um, wanted to get checked. And once I got checked, found out that my PSA was high. I was diagnosed with prostate cancer um, in containment stage. It was frightening, much, it was very frightening. And in praying about it, um, after studying the options that I had, I actually wrote it down and put it in my pocket. And when it was time for me to go back, I asked him what did he come up with and I pulled it out and we came up with the same thing, the same treatment. So that was the beginning of uh, reality uh, of prostate cancer. My oldest daughter was in college. So we didn't want to frighten her. I've always been kind of a health nut. So at that point, um, they basically couldn't believe. Emotion. Emotion was very high. The cancer center cared for my family. They wanted to know if everybody was okay, everybody was uh, where they need to be, how are they handling it. Um, if you need some help, we're here for you. That was good. After realizing that you have something that very well could take your life away. And then finding out that there is hope. And your family express who is important and what is important. It changes the way that you look at life totally. When I walked into the cancer center, it makes you feel very, very free because it's such a ease atmosphere, a soft atmosphere. It's almost like you're walking into a five-star hotel, <laughs> feeling very comfortable. When you take the fear and when the fear becomes no more, that gives you greater hope. No question was too small, no question was too big. It reduces what you are thinking to a really facts. So the Cancer Center actually gave me facts of hope and it made you feel just like you were the only patient. The relationship uh, after care, so to speak, uh, that makes you feel like family. And, and, and the family is so important till you almost look forward to your appointment. <laughs> I celebrate by being cancer free, by actually speaking about prostate cancer. It really gives me a ease freedom. I think life is better than death. And it's no shame to understand that you can actually save lives just from information. I've been cancer free for 18 years and it feels wonderful.